Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to the RP Geeks. I'm Sam Griffin. It is time for more Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Chapter 16. Two more chapters. 4.19 a.m. Didn't kept a promise about getting me hooked up. About two hours before dawn, the phone rang. Hello? This is Jowd. Sissel, are you listening? We need your powers. No time to talk. We'll be waiting for you. Somebody's dead. <laughs> He's like, you heard him. Get over there. Control room. I think you'd better get going. This long night is drawing to an end. Yeah, looks like it. Thank you for, your, for all your help tonight. I'm the one who should be thanking you. The other end of the phone line. I'm gonna find all my answers. Better go. Single telephone line connects me and the other Sissel. That single line spreads out like a spider thwart to ensnare the fates of many people. And I just reached the center of the web. So what exactly is the plan here? Welcome to the Yanoa. Detective Jowd? My detective sense must have gotten rusty. Didn't even sense your presence here in the dark. That's because I switched the power to my mask off, Detective Jowd. I used your phone. Hope you don't mind. Egad! Never thought you'd track us here, especially seeing as you're a death row inmate. I'd be equally surprised about your choice of transportation. Submarine, eh? How did you find us, my man? Not even the police knew whether you know what was going to surface, confound it. You detectives have a little saying. If you want to know about a case, ask the criminals. The bullet the man in red was shot with had a radio transmitter in it. I have a little something for you. Oh, it was a tracker. <laughs> you sneaky bitch. Cabanella had given me some pretty weird presents in the past. They always prove useful. That one was a radio receiver, made to look like a pocket watch. Hmm, yes, Inspector Cabanella. He's an excellent investigator. By the way, where is that man in red? I know he's on the submarine somewhere. Ah, Sissel, you mean. Right here. You. You can relax. That's nothing but his shell. His shell, eh? His spirit isn't here right now. More likely right about now. He's controlling your daughter. Please, I beg you, let my daughter go. If you need a hostage, take me. Just please, let her go. Something our nation needs. Sissel has it. It's all we care about, my man. Nothing else matters. However, it would appear, Sissel has underestimated us. He's left his behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip. Our nation has already researched it. This product that Sizzle has to offer. The source of his powers. Meteorite. Or shard of it. Wow, that's a big shard. What in the world was that? 
The Temsic Fragment gives spirits special powers. Now a deal with Sissel is concluded, as far as we're concerned. What are you talking about? The mistake to make right at the most crucial moment. Now then, Detective Jowd. Farewell. In the world? The whole room just vanished. Detective Jowd, where did he go? So basically, we gotta crash this fucker, is what I'm hearing. But now, I think I heard an explosion somewhere. In any case, Lynn and the little lady should be here somewhere. Smell danger. Better find them and fast. Keep okay, aware. Ah, there we are. Oh, that's how that's been getting around. Okay. Uh, who's this? So you're here, huh? Missile! Yes, I think even I remember who you are by now. What do you suppose that shock was a minute ago? I have no idea, of course. It's a little sheltered apartment dog. With my loss of memory, I can't say I'm much better. Anyway, let's hurry up and go see Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla. If that trustee knows of yours and sniff them out. Sorry to say I don't think I can. Why did I even bother to ask? But you do have the power to swap objects. So let's go find that lady detective and the little lady together. You got it! The telephone is ringing. Wow! It's Miss Camilla, I just know it. My trusty nose is practically screaming it at me. I think you'd call that more of a hunch. Anyway, let's get to the phone before it stops ringing. You bet! How do you plan to do that exactly? Well, this is gonna have to be the first one to move. Hello? Hello, Miss Camilla? Hello? It's no use. Black hello? Just doesn't like me. Just create a path for me, Missile. I'll come right over. Okay. Okay. Not sure what good that did. Same thing. I literally don't think that did anything. Ah, okay. But now what? Oh, wait. And boop. Swip swap. Okay, it's off the hook. I think it just heard another little explosion in the distance. I have a bad feeling about this. This will look. That black hello? It came off the hook. Uh oh. I better answer it fast. Hello? Is anybody there? It's her, the little lady. It's Sissel, where are you? Somebody please answer. She can't hear my voice. You too, huh? 
Oh, good. I thought she was ignoring me. But he helped me. Lynn. Lynn is... It's Lynn. Miss Lynn! You better hurry. Let's go, Sissel. Go there. One for the road. God damn it. It's no use. Nobody's answering. Miss... Miss Camilla! And... Miss... Miss Lynn! Oh, poor Miss Lynn. Yeah, she can't seem to catch a break. Another tragedy has happened. Sorry to keep you waiting, little lady. Sissy, I knew you'd come. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! And Missile, too. I'm so glad you're all right. I wouldn't say I'm all right, exactly. Hey, wait a minute. Missile, your voice. I remember hearing it somewhere before. What? My voice? Hmm, that's right. Camilla has a corn now, so that means she did hear Missile's voice before when he saved her that time. So that was you, wasn't it, Missile? You're the one who saved me in the park tonight. Thank you. It's Camilla. I'm so glad I was born near a little doggy. Hey, Missile? Could you stay here and watch over your mistress for a while? Huh? But don't you need my powers? I'll see what I can do on my own for a while. After all, you're the only one who can protect her. Okay, I... I'll do it. Thank you, Missile. What happened this time? About the detective lady. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, sissy. Did you tell me what happened to you? Between last time and now. What happened after I last saw you at your old house? Let me see. After that, I think I fell asleep. I woke up to the sound of an engine. It was already in the submarine by then, eh? To myself, I have to escape. You think I knew I found myself in this big room. So tired, I couldn't move. And then... I'm so relieved to remember what happened after that. I must have passed out, the poor thing. Oh yeah, wasn't the other guy supposed to be controlling her? Oh no been through so much. We're very brave. I think Lynn's probably been through more than me. You've both been brave. Alright. Eh. Alright, what the fuck happened this time? Oh, Sissel, you're here. Lynn, what the world happened here? Hey, we don't know. Huh? I just sort of blacked out all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead. I guess you wouldn't know in that case. Where's Detective Jowdy? Is he alright? I... I don't know. Huh? The room he was in just disappeared all of a sudden. It's made all making even less sense than before. After we left the Super's office, we followed after the man in red. Tracked him with that radio transmitter and Inspector Cabanella fired into him with the bullet. The man in red took a small boat out to sea from a small harbor on the edge of town. Detective Jowd and I managed to secretly stow away on his boat, and we sneaked onto the submarine with him when it surfaced. For a long, the submarine dove back down again. Detective Jowd and I decided to split up. He would take care of the telephone line, and I would look for Camilla. Found Camilla hiding here in the engine room. She'd escaped and run away here. Wow, that's quite an adventure. What happened next? I... I don't know. Huh? Flash of white all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead. I think it'd be quicker to see for myself. Get a queen! Bites of dust off! Camilla, are you okay? Yep, she's being controlled. Hello, Lynn. Or is it Detective now? It's been 10 years since we last met. Are you... 
Are you really that man from the park 10 years ago? Well, well, I see there's no need to introduce myself. Give Camilla back. She has nothing to do with any of this. Afraid I can't do that. This is my last chance. The phone is ringing. It's not for me. Nobody ever calls the dead. The fact that you're here means that my revenge plan has failed. Revenge plan? It didn't happen tonight, did it? This execution. Well, only him I half expected as much. I was waiting here like this, waiting for him to show up. Wouldn't it be just what he wanted to be executed by his own daughter? I heard about 10 years ago. I feel sorry about what happened to you. Revenge? Nobody could possibly know what I've... What the world? An explosion? Uh-oh. Got a bad feeling about this. We've been had? So you just straight up got conked on the head. Revenge, huh? It's a feeling I just can't understand. Of course not. You're not him. She's right. I'm not him, am I? I was going to shoot Detective Chowd. It's Camilla. And he came to rescue her. It's just too horrible. Anyway, let's bring you back to life again. Didn't have to add that again part. Maybe you, maybe if you'd stop dying. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? Comes of death this time. A mysterious explosion. Pretty up for a dead woman. Ish. You know how detectives love a good mystery? It's like a shot of vitamins. What do you mean for a dead woman? Anyway, so we should look for a way to stop that explosion. All right, let's do this thing. Dose of minerals for a detective. This reads with my memory loss. I have no idea what vitamins or minerals are. First, I think we need to find out what the fuck that explosion even was. I cannot get anywhere. There we go. He's fine. Somebody was calling. Somebody please answer the phone. Okay, we gotta find a way to get this thing knocked off the phone. Okay. That did nothing. There we go. Somehow managed to knock down the receiver. Chance to get on the phone. Might be the detective. Hello? Anybody there? Anybody still there? Get yourself here on the double. We're about to head out. Speak up. Why don't you answer? Anyway, come if you're coming. We're leaving. So basically, they decided to abandon ship and bomb the fucking thing. At least that's what I'm hearing. So it must be true what they say. Restless ghosts on board. That does it. Promise to turn over a new leaf bomb. And we're back here. Who's he calling restless ghosts? It's true neither one of us is really resting in peace. Well, anyway, it looks like the sub just lost one of its crew. Guess that means the fate of the sub has changed slightly. We got more time. The rest of it is left behind his precious bargaining chip. It's 
Detective Jout. What's going on here? I saw this little deal go down once before. Schmidt is about to get his Temsic fragment taken away. God damn it, missile. Where are you? Nothing's happening. Some kind of ornament. Help. Not the other party present. Cheating. I'm going to go. Ah, uh, from what I saw. Up here somewhere. Well, how the fuck am I going to get up there? Don't budge. Get Lynn to do it for me. Once again, did nothing. I need to get up there. Ah, the Temsic fragment, your mind at last. They're just packed in there. The objective has been achieved. We detached the control room as planned. Yes, sir. Farewell, sir. Boop. Here's the detective. Don't worry, Lynn. Anything right now is rescuing you and the little lady. I believe this is happening. Now that I better hurry along. This thing comes after me. You know I'll be his coffin. It lie buried here in the deep sea forever. Farewell, Sissel. Don't trust the blue people. So that's the cause of the giant explosion. Oh, what is? Don't tell me that's another thing you've forgotten. The torpedo. It's like, well, you've heard of a missile before, haven't you? Yeah, sure. But a different different missile comes more readily to mind. Like you plan to sink the submarine with that thing. This is not good. You have to do something before that torpedo is fired. Um, and a way to stop it. How? Stop it from detonating. I hope. What was the I hope at the end, the strongest part of that sentence? Okay, here goes. It's gonna turn around. It's a mouse. Came along for the ride without giving it too much thought. Was this really the best move? I think so. Just to keep it from going off, right? Who this poor little rat will thank us too. In the world did it get in here? Are these outside parts are supposed to be weights of some sort. Spinning black things, right? Spinning helps the torpedo maintain its balance. Must be pretty heavy. Finish summer. Explained once in a book. Impact fuse and the tip is depressed. In turn sets off the detonator. Be the red button. So how do we stop it? Explain anything about that in the book. Oof.
Dump the little creature off. That safety device. Can't do anything about that. Okay, we stopped it from exploding at least. What was that noise? Like the tor torpedo still hit the submarine. I think the submarine is still okay. Changes everybody's fate, including that little rat's. Just so we did it. I was expecting that to take a lot longer. What's the matter? You still look unhappy. Stop the torpedo from blowing up. You still opened up a gaping hole in the submarine. You're right. I guess. I guess that's just what missiles do. They're unstoppable. Am I hearing things? Anyway, I guess we better get back to the present as quickly as we can. Wait, right, I'm worried about Camilla. Managed to stop death for now, but it hasn't disappeared altogether. It's now slowly but surely filling the room. Uh-oh. Water is seeping in through the hole where the torpedo hit. Gotta get them out of here. Better go meet up with Lynn. Eh. Okay. She apparently still works. Okay, cool. Now let me run for create a path, which is what I was trying to do. Awake! How do you feel? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I pointed that gun at you. Don't worry about that. That wasn't you. Miss Camilla! Oh, Mitchell, you're here. Poor Miss Camilla. Miss Lynn, what should we do? We have to get out of here before any more water comes in. This should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come. And Missy is here too. So happy everyone's gonna be with me now. Poor girl must be exhausted. Camilla! It's Camilla! I'll get you out of here. If it's the last thing I do. Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Or whimper, as the case may be. Better send a signal to Lynn that I'm here. Or it's too late. As in, you know, turning on the fucking flashlight. Oh, look at that flashlight. It's Sissel, he's here. Up you go. Glad you're here, Sissel. Sorry for the wait. Looks like this room is gonna fill up with water fast. Better get out that door as quick as we can. I won't be getting out that door, I'm afraid. Water pressure is too great already. I can't open it. What? What does water pressure mean? Think of it as the force of the water holding the door closed. The water level keeps getting higher and higher in here. So the, so the only way out of here is up, huh? Exactly. Okay, got it. Let's, let's look for a path that goes up. You know, like a ladder. Hey, look at that ladder. I wonder if we can get it down somehow. Good idea. Let's try it. Oh, and by the way. Yes? I can't swim. Neither can Camilla. Don't you have any good news for me? Hmm. Let me think about it. In the meantime, could you hurry, please? Okay. Eh. Eh. 
Eh. Eh. She'll leave the flashlight on. Could I ask her to move a little to the left? I'm thinking that lowers the ladder. Let's calculate the ladder length. You, I can't swim. Cool. Ah, there we go. It's a hook. Yep. There we go. You did it, Cecil. Thanks. Okay, now what? What was that? It's like water seeping in isn't the only thing we have to worry about. Huh? Just so the flashlight doesn't work anymore. Hey, don't get mad at me. Maybe the contacts are bad or something. Hey, I know. You can fix it with your powers. Okay, now that's just taking things too far. I guess you could. Oh, hey, great. Did you used to be an electrician in your past life or something? That's a cruel question considering the circumstances. Now all we have to do is get to that door and we're safe. Uh-oh. Well, this could be a problem. What happened now? Looks like the submarine decided to rear up on its hind legs. Can't believe we're still okay after that fall. Either we're really lucky and we're Dead and we just haven't realized it yet. Come on now, as if the ladder could be true. Yeah, if they were dead, I'm pretty sure they'd know it by now. What now? Water sure is rising fast. Come on. Just, we'll just have to go up. Up to the top. See how I can help with my ghost tricks. Well, well, I think I see a familiar flame over there. Sissel, there you are. How's it going? How's it going? I'd say it's going pretty badly. You do understand how dangerous this situation is, don't you? Of course, after all. Just, uh, just ask anybody who knows me how much I hate taking a bath. Maybe he's been in danger of drowning before himself. Okay, ready to create a path for these ladies? Of course! All right. Get the feeling we're going to be relying a lot on missile for this. I literally do not see how that's going to help. Okay, Sissel, what do we do? I'm ready. It's raring to go after his rest. Create a path that will get Lin up to the top and fast. Anything and everything we can move and try things out. How about if we tip the whole submarine? If you do that, there wouldn't be any problem. Well, in any case, I'm ready and raring to go. Yeah, I think Missile's actually kind of on his own with this one. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. El Telefono. Maybe I have to let some time pass first. Eh. Lynn, what the fuck do we do? She's in the donor. I'm holding Camilla. Did I ever tell you? So handy. Let's head for the top. Need some kind of footholds for her. Get their feet on the ground. We need to create some footholds. Although, how long the fuck am I supposed to do that when everything I can do is over here? They're all broken the same way. Missile move, please. Uh, eh. wrong button. Oh, I see. Like they're taunting me. Maybe it's a challenge. Be quiet for a minute, missile. Okay. Yay! I think that water's gonna wait. Alright. Step one complete. Now for step two.
There's no way to go around either. Think you can do something? Of course we can. We have to. All right. Missile first. Okay. Leave the yeah. This one, I believe, needs to be swapped for that one. Never mind. And just how the steam comes out. Come in handy. the water again Pick it all up for you oh, it's too salty for just do something about this steam yeah I can still get up there uh Yeah, no, I think this one is all missile. That do it. Oh no, that's worse. I need some way to get Sissel up here. Help. They're mystified. I think about those steam pipes, right? I need him up here. Yeah. Eh. Go back. It's getting really close. It's really starting to hurt. It's a little missile. Switch anything. And there they go. Can make a little warm mist. Really hot steam. Enough. Yeah, how the fuck am I supposed to get Sissel up there? Oh, he is up here. Okay, well, how the fuck was I supposed to do that before? Well, 
go to that first pipe. Okay. Which one is the big one? There we go. There, how does that look? Looks great. All that horrible steam is cleared out of the way. Yes, yeah, not too far now. Try to move forward. Ouch. Almost there. Up there, if we could just make it to that door, we can escape. How in the world am I going to get up there? Don't yell at me. If you want to yell, you can yell at me. Missile. I can't yell at you when you're so sweet about it. I think you just did. Look for something to pull Michelin up with. Yes. I first so gently to the top with. Being sarcastic. I know exactly what I need to do. Eh. Throw the switch. Cannot throw the switch. Can't do this. This is what I'm talking about. Whee! And oh look, the door is right there. Sorry, I can't do it. Open it, hurry. Not any way to ask for something. No use. Can't budge it. Must be stuck. Oh no. What the fuck? I'm guessing it's Mr. Manipulator pissed that he's been double-crossed. What just happened? I can't believe my eyes. And then the little lady just suddenly vanished, leaving only darkness and seawater. The submarine continues to sink down, down into the deep, deep sea. I still want to try and make my way up as far as possible. I don't want to head up to find a single ray of light to illuminate the truth at the bottom of the deep, this deep, deep darkness. One more. Mm. All right. And with that, I'm going to end things off here. Thank you all so much for joining us. If you liked this video, leave a like and a comment. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and the bell, and I'll see you guys next time for what should be the grand finale. So long, folks.